not going to need a lot of power when I'm driving and traveling. But I'd like to be able to charge my GoPro and uh, drone and cell phones and whatnot. Start out with, I got a charger here. Kind of a power bank. Insta power. It's an old one, but it still works good. So I'm going to take that and I'll be able to boost the vehicle when needed. I can charge it with a 120 uh, inverter. I plug into the 12 volt. Charge it while I'm driving. And it'll always be charged up for additional power. And then we also have uh, this baby here. I've had for a long time, but never used them much. But this one also, red fuel. Charge it up. Can also boost vehicle. Got a good light on it. And flashing light broke down or something. And USB. Charge everything through the USB. I can power and charge it through uh, my solar panel. Or, once again, one uh, 12 volt while I'm driving. So that'll definitely come in handy. And rather than uh, mounting a panel on the roof, didn't really want to do that if I didn't have to. I got such a wide dash. I'm going to use this uh, Rock Solar. Just got her in from from Amazon. Open it up. Try fold. Carrying case. Got these grommets. I believe that's so you can hang it up if you want. So you've got the tri fold. And I'm going to stick that on the wide dash. And then we've got inside. What we got in here? We got. Cord. Oh, this is if you want to plug into another panel that you can extend to build your system bigger. Bunch of adapters. Charge uh, different things. Awesome. And these uh, gabardines. I think that's what you call them. I think that's the through the grommets and uh, hang it wherever. That'll be good. And then the power cord. Another one. Three of them. Four of them. <laughs> and then inside we got the kind of like the, it's got a built in controller. USB. And then a OC30, whatever that is. But it's like an, a USB, except it's a slightly different voltage, I believe, for charging different things. Then a Type C charging and the DC that's where you uh, plug in coming out to whatever you're charging I'm gonna take that around the front here because my plan fail to plan plan to fail is to put it on the dash here so you got this small one that's only like for trickle charging a battery I mean, yeah, your battery in your vehicle, which I could also use while I'm parked, if I'm parked for a day or so somewhere. But for now, we'll take this one off, out of the way. Lay the tri-fold out. You can see it's already red because it's already catching sunlight. So see, it's got a big dash, so why not just have that on the dash while I'm driving? And even parked. I'm not taking up any space that I'm going to need. And then down below we got the... Well, this is... I've collected things over the years, especially from my security business. Spy point. This is a 12-volt battery in a case. Normally you plug in for a game camera. But I'm using it and I adapted a... USB plug-in on the end so I can charge a bunch of things 
I can even plug in for 12 volt to charge, to keep the, not charge, but keep the fridge going. But the plan for the fridge is plug in a cigarette lighter, which I have run to, there's a back cigarette lighter in the unit. So whenever I'm driving, as soon as I turn the ignition on, it starts cooling, right? Then when I'm parked, have the vehicle off, don't want to drain the battery. I can plug it right into here or into my booster, the one I showed you in the back there. Either way, I'll have three battery sources, three batteries. Okay, so we have this, this will be sitting wherever, on the floor or wherever. Now I need my cable, right? So we got the cable. We got to get the adapter. Proper one that's going to fit in here. No, that's too big. Or too, sm too small, actually. I mean. That one goes in, so that should be good. Hook up the cord to the panel. Plug her in. And let's get the tester so you can kind of see what I got going on here. <laughs> a cheap old tester, but it still gets her done. Turn it on, zeroed out. Now, we hook her up to the battery. Pause the pause, nig nig. And let's see, if just so I can kind of show you. Well, I'm sure you trust me, but we got 0.7, so not much, 0.7 volt. All right, and this 12 volt battery, so I've got to charge it. Now you're wondering, how much is this putting out? It says 30 on the box, 30 watt. And when I test the cord from the panel, we got uh, 38, looks like 38.1 coming out. It says 30, so it's doing great on the output. And then we'll plug her in for charging. I'll put my end on first, that'll help. Now we check the battery. Same thing. Well, it's a little less because it's actually charging, right? Hard to hold everything, but 34.5. So yeah, it's sucking down a bit because it's actually charging. So that's going to work. So that'll charge that. I can also charge other things once that's full. And then I got between three, basically three 12 volt batteries or battery sources, power packs. Should be plenty for my electronics. Plus I can also charge directly off the panel to a device without even going through the battery. What do you guys think? Is that going to be enough? Let me know. I'll see you on the next video.